Hello, my name is Nick. I am joined by my friend Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi. Hey, Nick. Uh, and you are watching Video Game Variety Hour, where we play three-ish, small-ish, free-ish games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how it goes. A lot of, a lot of ish. Yeah, we're all about that. Yep. Um, this week's theme is Crash. Oh boy. I, d I do not like to crash cars in anything other than video games, in which case I kind of like to crash them a lot. Yeah. There's actually no cars. We won't be crashing any cars. Oh, that's interesting to hear. We're going to be shaking it up. Yeah. Um, we will be... I can't, I can't help but notice, Nick, that you... there's something going on with that title card. Yeah, I, I crossed off words and put crash on it. It looks similar to something that I I remember. I remember making. <laughs> I think I think that it's been copyrighted by me. So so how many do we have this this week? Uh, we've got three. Cool, 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 cool. Do you have an order in mind? Or? Yes. In fact, I have the first okay. game loaded up already. Um, oh right, let's go. I just want to my preview on the dashboard died on me, so I want to make sure that... It's working, it's working on my, my end. I can see the screen. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm watching a Sims 4 trailer right now. A Sims 4 trailer? Yeah. You excited about it? I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm watching I'm, it just I'm, because I'm... it's playing on the... It's kind of weird that they serve you ads on the internal dashboard. That's always struck go. me as, as a bit weird. Um, Football Femme says, fingers crossed we're playing Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3. I don't know. <laughs> we might be. Can we do that? <laughs> oh, man. If I no had damage, a copy no of... No damage. <laughs> yeah, no no damage, no deaths. No stomps or no slams. Yep. Run. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can do it. And you know. Uh, Sia says, wait, Nick's last name isn't Bones? Sure, it can be. Nick Bones. Nick Bones, I don't care. Actually... I toyed with the idea for a, a long time of uh, like creating a sort of pen name of uh, Nick Scratch. That's a good oh man. That's a good name. That's because a solid uh, name. it's uh, like two different ways to say uh, two old slang terms for the devil. Oh, that's really cool. Mr. Mr. Nick now. and Mr. Scratch. <laughs> Somebody's gonna steal it, Nick. So he's going to steal it, and they're going to create a paranormal detective called Nick Scratch, and I'm just starting the draft right now. It's going really well. It's got <laughs> loads of the characters in place. <laughs> Soltron says, with a C or with a K? Uh, with a C. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, I Maybe a K could work. I don't know. Anyways. Um, enough about that. Let's start crashing things. Let's start crashing them. Uh, the first thing we're going to crash is Lunar Landers. Oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Good stuff. It, are we supposed to crash the lander? Uh, I... Oh, wow. <laughs> the, uh, it just crashed. The sound of the game is really quiet, isn't it? Can people yeah, on I the stream hear that? Did. I don't know. Nina in the chat's being really, really sweet about the little game I made for Austin. Thank you very much, oh, Nina. It means, it means a great deal. I really need to... I'm going to click on that link and put it in a tab so that I remember to play it later. Well, there's, there's no obligation. You don't have no, to I want to. I really want to. It just... it's It keeps slipping my mind because I'm a bad person. <laughs> I think I can hear the game now. Okay. I don't... Whoa, what did I click on? Transporting? Train spotting. Okay, so we're... Uh, what, what's our goal here? Uh, I don't know, but this game is described as Quop drives a lunar lander. Okay, so, good. How how you finding it right now? Oh, oh dear. Whoop! That, oh. <laughs> I seem to have lost my wheel. Wait, no, my... <laughs> Now you just you just lost crazy plants, alien artifacts, and oh. 
Okay, yeah, I think this is Crazy the way I'm supposed to do it. Alien artifacts, a noodle knows what out there. I'll give my left lug nut for a sub even thumb drive. Where is everyone? Whatever, I gotta get this thing in the air and land at all three of those pads. That should activate the last multiverse transporter pad. Get that, and I am out of here. Is it working? Uh, yeah, sorry. Alright, so. so WASD and left click. Thrust, okay. Q and E to strafe. Oh, okay, look, right mouse button. Hard flight. Oh, oh, this is what we need to be oh. doing. Yes, direct thruster control. W S I J on the four shift or the four shift and control keys. Rotate Q and O. Hard mode is a keyboard only. Okay. So, all right. Land at the research station. Too bad I crash landed. We gotta leave, I guess. Yeah, there's. Is there a hip hop song playing in the background? I can hear some. Yeah, I can hear some hip hop going. It sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like sampled voices. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's do hard flight mode number one. Oh. Here we go. This is just okay. Oh, there's more. Oh, Ugh. this. What do uh, you have to do? I I have to say this menu interface is a little confusing. How does it work? Oh, that's how to. Play. Oh, I Double see. Okay. There was something in here. Okay. Turn Compass green as you land on each pad. The number the number on top is your best time. Remember on the bottom side is your best fuel green when final pad is active. Compass dot points to the next pad. Okay. Man, this music's pretty good. Transporting. Okay, here we go. You can do it, Nick. WSIJ. Oh god. Is this really hard? Oh no. <laughs> I think you actually went backwards. That's the equivalent of the pitcher letting go of the ball and just, just going behind him. Oh, oh I'm still, still I'm still going apparently, but I have no Just you have no <laughs> I guess you have to click uh restart maybe. Oh, I see. Okay, Nick, I believe in you. Aim for the sp aim for the space, and then press all the buttons really, real carefully. It's Whoop. just ahead of you. Nope. Nick. It's just nope. ahead of you, Nick. Nope. It's just ahead oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> You've lost one. You. <laughs> You've lost all of them. <laughs> Mosby says, "Are the thrusters twenty pound tanks of propane?" <laughs> uh, yeah, they they kind of look like it. <laughs> This looks okay, like here we go. right. Just, just a little, just a little. Oh. No, oh, oh, oh man. Oh god. No, that's the wrong direction in a big way. Oh no. This is right. Okay, okay. How do you plan to land with right here? Oh. Oh boy. This is some. This is. Oh god. Get back over there. I just no. imagine Nick, Nick here having like this run went longer than he ever dreamt it to, and now he's just completely lost his control. Okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. Oh well, what happened there? Just spin around a little bit. Oh, oh I'm oh, not no. fine anymore. It was the turning that was the problem. <laughs> Radiated goat says this is a GameCube attached to some propane tanks. <laughs> I don't know of any other sort of spaceship, to be quite honest. I mean, I like I, I really like that it's just like pro propane tanks. It makes me think yeah. that whoever designed and built this ship, uh, did, or whoever built this this strange little craft, did so 
they did all the designing. <laughs> the menu is being occluded by the mountains. <laughs> I kind of like that. It's it's cute. Uh, they did all the designing in Gary's mod. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah, like they had to cobble it together out. It wasn't even the little menu text say like they they've crashed their ship and they need to activate all the things and they had to cobble it together out of bits and pieces. But I love how bits and pieces. <laughs> Nick, don't think that's how you're supposed. To I don't. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. That was I totally forgot already that it was part of the story. There's something kind of cool about the way its little propane tanks just wiggle. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck here. Let me out, please. I'm stuck on the planet. It's kind of it's kind of cute. Come on. What exactly are you trying to get into? I'm do? I'm trying to flip over. I'm like a like a turtle. Space turtle. <laughs> with jet, you're like Gamera. You're with the jetpack. <laughs> yes. Gotta, you are bad space Gamera. Your Gamera, if it got caught in a little trench and couldn't work out how to turn itself over again. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just the rear left one. Okay, then the left. front left one. That's front right. Front left. No, that doesn't do anything at all. That just sort of like merrily goes away. I do have I have side jets also. All right, let's just restart. Oh. Janine says this is oddly sad. It's trying so hard. Nope. Gamera is really neat. Gamera is turtle meat. We've been eating Gamera. Is that the is that the actual Gamera theme song? Yep. As heard uh -huh. in Mystery Science Theater. You see, Mystery Science Theater is the only time I've ever seen Gamera, except I tuned out like halfway through, and bizarrely, while I can. Ro Nick, you missed a pad. I hate I know. to say it, Nick. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to go back. Nope. <laughs> Nick, we have to go back. Gabriella <laughs> <laughs> says, We all love you, Space GameCube. <laughs> all Space GameCube. <laughs> You'll make it to at least one pad. I think what you really need to be doing here, Nick, is focusing and doing your job properly. Okay. Like this? Yep. Oh, no. This oh, is no. Perfect. I gamma it again. <laughs> hey, Keith. Nekukuku says, where do you even get games like this? This is our secret. Uh... Nobody should know. No, I will no, totally you, tell you. You, get this one? you can find this on uh, Itch.io. Um, this is... Uh, it's actually... It's normally 7 bucks. It's on sale right now for $3.50. Um, and there is a free demo of the first five levels. Is this what we have? Is this uh, what have no, this is the full game that I'm playing right now. How 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 uh, how do you feel your 350 has been spent so far? Because here in video game variety hour, the thing that of course matters most to us is value for money. Uh, I'm being sarcastic. Value for money doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it's to do with the quality of the crashing. For yeah. me personally, the quality of the crashing. Gone home, not worth money at all. No crashing. Yep. Just cause two. Oh, man, I pay lots for that. Plenty of crashing. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. Was it was sixty dollars when it launched, but <laughs> it had it had so much crashing that I think it's, I think that was a fair it's price. Worth, yeah, definitely, definitely worth that. Uh, somebody in the chat, who was it? Saltron in the chat posted a Gamera uh, gif of him just like, just like doing the gymnastic bars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Kelsey in the chat has the the link to it. Um, yeah, this okay. game is by uh, Don Whitaker, um, who also has a studio name. Oh, oh dear. So what's your kind of strat for going forward? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh! I was doing so well. I was doing so well. I'm kind of getting lifeless planet flashbacks with this terrain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, lifeless planet. Lifeless planet, lifeless planet. didn't have an adorable have space GameCube, though. 
all crashing, no. Um, Chip6 says something about this planet is super uncomfortable to look at. That's because you're latently remembering lifeless planet. <laughs> <laughs> Why is our best time 999? Oh, I guess that's because we haven't completed it yep. once yet. <laughs> we just went jetting off backwards into the wings. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 well, oh, oh, man. Nope. Jeez. I, we're just morally consoling ourselves with the knowledge that this thing is being remotely piloted, right? Yeah. <laughs> remotely. You're not there's a living person in this. It's, uh... It's... You know, remote from the inside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, the, the person remotely controlling it just happens to be sitting inside it. Right. Sugar Brown says, somehow this reminds me of <gasps> Pikmin. Oh, man. Does that Can count? Not combat? Yes, yes, you've done it. Yes, look, the thing has lit up a green. Oh, no, Nick, you gamma a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We've successfully done one and just immediately invalidated it. Try using the, uh, the strafe control. <laughs> <laughs> just like wiggle my little feet fruitlessly. Help me! Help, help me! me. Stop. Help go, me! Go. I'm traveling at eight miles an hour and I'm really stuck. Oh no, I think that's a counter. I think. Oh, we had to restart. How demoralizing is that? Nick, and, uh, sorry, Keith. I can't, Nick. Keith in the chat just said, I'm not even remotely controlling this thing. <laughs> <gasps> oh, god damn it. This is so hard. Let's, uh... Oh, it just said something had been activated. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, the pa it just said the pad had been activated. We activated the pad. Oh, I see. Let's try it on null. Yeah, let's, this, uh... This level is called Baby Step. <laughs> in the sense that the baby leaves the crib, shoots five feet into the air, veers past the table, and eventually explodes next to the fridge. Oh, gosh. This, this is, is this is like a different game. <laughs> still fun though. Bing. I mean, it's still got you know silly what bouncy physics going saying? on. That's it. I don't know. German maybe? Sounds like German. I like these uh, big rolly flowers. Let me know if this gets too loud because this game is really quiet. Oh, the soundtrack's pretty. Where's the... Oh, it's a... Oh, okay. You can do it. I know. I believe in you. Yeah, well, I could totally do it on normal mode. There's bugs. Those tiny space bugs. Look, they're really cute. Oh, yeah. Look at those guys. I like these the roly strange, like, rolly... Are those... Those rocks, or is this some, some kind this of game has a more interesting planet ambi ambiance than Lifeless Planet does to me. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Chip Six says, "I would like to imagine there is a planet now with rolling stone flowers." Well, after what we talked about in the nested stream, it's, that's plausible. It's been Something about that little ping noise is really pleasing to me. Yeah, it's good noise. Satisfying. Yeah. We put little ping noises in castles because they were nice to hear. Little ping noises. Pretty good. Oh man. What about oh, uh -oh. what about value per ping noise? Oh we have lots of ping noises in castles. Oh. Multiple pings. That's great. Great value for your when money. When it comes then. to game design, when it comes to game design, you want high ping. That's a uh, an internet <laughs> quality joke there for all the fans of, of internet. <gasps> Sparkles. I don't understand any of the things that is being said. I think they're saying like you've landed in an alternate uh, in other languages. <laughs> and even said an alternate language, like an alternate universe. 
Uh, Circadian Wolf says, is each pad a different voice? It sounded like it might have been. Oh, that was Superhero fun. Superhero says, I keep expecting to hear smell microwave popcorn or something when I hear the ping noise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, look at this planet. Yeah, this is neat. I like this place. It's like Morrowind crashed into <laughs> another planet. Yep. Is there any <laughs> DSHS says alternate German is real, real weird. You know, alternate legends. There's not quite enough uh, giant mushrooms around for uh, for it to be Morrowind. But Morrowind, yeah. Oh, what is that though? Is that the skull of a giant creature uh, or something? Uh, it could be. It could very well yeah, also yeah. be Xenozoic. Oh, it could be. The uh, how did you find Abyss Odyssey? Um, like, I do want to go back to it eventually, but. <laughs> uh, the game agreed with you. Yep. I I love how weird it is, uh, and I mm. do genuinely like the mechanics. I think I sort of OD'd a little bit on it the first couple days it came out, um, and the the play sessions in that are quite long. Uh, like you're sitting down for at least an hour to do a run in that game. Yeah, I remember seeing I remember seeing um Scott Benson, who's creating Night in the Woods, talking on Twitter about just like the extent to which that game's t pacing is is really weirdly done. It yeah. just sort of sets up long sessions that you're compelled to continue playing. Uh, and it's it's one of those games that I there, there's a certain like there's a certain something, a certain je ne sais quoi that some games have where it's like this uh, sort of. It's like a game you really love playing while you're playing it, but mm. something there's something about it that when you're sitting down for the evening to play some games, and you're looking at your Steam list or your shelf full of games, yeah, uh, absolutely, you pass it over every time. It's otherwise known as my entire Steam library. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm bad at just I'm bad at playing games. Um, I bought Cognition, the Erica Reed uh, detective games, because they were two pounds today. Oh, nice! Um, and I, 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 I know that I ought to play them sometime, but actually managing to get myself into that space to play it is going to be. Yeah, and I've heard really nice things about them. Lucas says, "Hello, everyone. This planet looks pretty good." Hi, Lucas. That's a really great icebreaker as well, by the way, just to arrive in a conversation and go, this planet looks pretty good. <laughs> this planet. <laughs> Which planet? The one we're on right now. You know, the this planet. Earth, maybe the other ones, maybe, or this planet looks really good, and then holding up a photo of a planet. <laughs> just like a little picture of Saturn. Saturn, is it? That's a pretty planet. Saturn is a very pretty planet. Oh, I got stuck in the spike oh. tree. Can we get out of it? Probably. This is known as spike kinda, tree gamma ring. I kind of don't want to. It's, it's nice <laughs> and chill up here. I'm going to have a little... Just hang out here. We're going to let Space GameCube just have a little nap in the tree. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we are going to switch to the next game. Cool. Let's go for it. Uh, this game is called... 74, 78, 68. Good name. Se 74, 68, 68? 74, 78, 68. 74, 72, 77? Ye uh, 63, 24, 90, 96. I have heard them, I've received the message. I will be sending these spies shortly. Oh my god, I've heard of this game, I think. So, the, um, the purpose... Uh, probably, <laughs> probably, like, flashing lights warning, this game is going to have... Oh, lights. yes. Um, I'm sorry about that. I should have said that up front. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I think, I think we cool. 
uh, Irritated Goat just says, and I'm tripping bulls. Uh, I need um, to bring up the readme for this. Uh, the readme for this is pretty funny because... Oops. The last... Well, first of all, the readme makes my notepad program move really sluggishly. Because <laughs> it's got all this garbage text in here. Oh, wow. Uh, and the readme ends with, P.S. The game will not hurt your computer unless... Garbage text, garbage text, garbage text. <laughs> uh, so what's our goal here? So the point of the game is to crash it. Crash the game itself. Uh, oh my god, that sounds amazing. You want to make the FPS drop to under 5. Uh, to do this, you'll need to create instances of yourself, which also serve to preserve your existence. Uh, absor absorb surrounding anomalies to game form... Avoid your own instances and multiply their number to decrease FPS. Oh, wow. All right. Let's go for it. Before you start, if, if flashing lights are a thing for you, we will, we will let you know when this is over. Yes. All right. I did not. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good start. There's okay, no... So are we... Oh, oh. Oh, I just started RDO by... <laughs> the, so this... <laughs> the mouse isn't... Um, the mouse isn't stuck to the window in this game. Oh, weird. So it's, it's just sort of... So that's like why I keep clicking, accidentally clicking on other stuff. So what is it that you're actually doing? I'm trying to collect these um, abstract shapes just sort of flipping out. Uh, and with those, I click the left mouse button, and I make another of myself, and they oh, manifest okay. as I'm getting. Oops, I'm I'm getting form. Every time I click, I'm spending a form. Oh, I see. Your little your little dot isn't hovering out of existence as quickly. Right. Oh. <laughs> I oh, Dwarf I launched Dwarf Fortress. Uh. <laughs> Something about the fact that this is happening just adds to the game. <laughs> it does actually kind of. <laughs> the computer is still working with that. I really like the color choices here, these sort of browns. Oh, oh. man, this blue is gorgeous. Oh, gosh. Whoa. So I'm also supposed to... So those big domes are like... Uh, <laughs> those big domes are like marking the other... The copies of me that I'm making. Ah, uh, oh, right. Okay. Can you move around quite precisely? Or is the movement as erratic as the visuals? Uh, it's... Precise in as far as I can... In as far as the game itself is precisely is rendering things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder what this looks like on stream. Is this like just completely... Ugh. Is this just it's killing? Pretty remarkable. It's pretty remarkable and horrible to look at. It, it, it displays fine on stream. Okay. It's... it's the, 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 in fact, any of the artifacts and glitches really add to it. Oh, okay. Kenyon Wolf says, I have genuinely no idea what is happening. <laughs> There's something really cool to me about how the tenor of the space changes so dramatically as the colors do. Oh, so one minute it can feel vaguely comfortable, and the next minute it feels really, really weird and threatening. Yeah. Oh. I think I like it best when it's sort of like cool blues. Yeah, me too. I like it best when it doesn't flash at me. I don't know how much longer I can play this game, to be honest. It is <laughs> it is genuinely causing some strain in my eyeballs. Oh, I've got a lot oh, of form man, I need to be. Like don't, uh, but also, don't I, really wanna cr I really want to win it. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, that's what kills people playing video games, <laughs> Nick. Oh. This is going to be like the Moth. This is what it must have been like for Mothman. This is what you saw. Oh god. Oh, we're down to 16. I'm getting FPS, so close. 12, 11. 
nine, seven, six. Oh, six. It's five, getting really choppy. Seven, I can barely eight, control seven, myself. Thirteen, eleven, seven, five. Oh man, here we go. This is kind of. Oh, jeez. Oh god. Get that, get that thing, get it. The audio is doing different stuff now as well, I think. Eight, five, five point five six five is, the is the lowest. Oh, really? Yeah, we got down come to five twenty seven. With thirteen, it's going back up again. Yeah. 13, oh no, why is it going back up? Man, some of this artifacting, like the floweriness of it, is really, really cool. Oh, wow. Ow. Ow. Eyes. Ow. <laughs> We're back up to 60 FPS oh. now, Nick. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna close my eyes for a second. Oh, they feel yeah. so good. Everybody, everybody who's been watching this, well, firstly, uh... Thank you for staying with us. Everybody who's been watching this, and if it's hurting your eyes, just take a moment to uh, just look away from the screen, or, or close your eyes, or open open <laughs> open up a pretty picture of a sunset or something. Let's uh, let's, let's turn out the lights on the stream for a oh, minute. Yeah. But man, no, there's something really interesting to me. Firstly, sort of visually in that regard, with, with the the colors and the specifically the textures of those sort of explosions that would happen every so often, and also mechanically, there was something really compelling about watching your computer break and wanting it to break more. <laughs> um, like that was a really weird and cool thing to to do, and it's not something that happens very often when when playing a game. I don't think. Um, okay. I think I'm, uh, I think we're going to move on to the last game here. Which... The last game is called Crash, a film by Ang Lee. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to watch Crash and get immediately banned. The last game is called Not Quite Clock. Uh, uh, Chipsix says, said, does that actually lag your system, or was it just a mechanic in the game? It actually lagged the system. It it right. lagged the game, certainly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People who have been absent for fear of, of flashing lights... Uh, does this game have flashing lights in it, Nick? No. It has some pretty okay. wild colors. Oh, man, these colors are cute. Uh, but but you can you can come back to the game. We've, we've saved your seat for you. So, what was all that stuff that we just blipped past? Um, I'm trying to reset the... There we go, the cropping on the screen here really quick. Man, I love this aesthetic already. I, uh... I thought of you when I, when I first started playing this game, actually. Really? Yeah. In the sense that, oh, Jack would like this stupid thing. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, so this game is called Ramble Planet. This is the game... Good title. Yeah, it's a really good title. This is the game that I was uh, thinking of last week when you started talking about... Uh, when you started introducing Nested. Mm. And you were talking about a planet or planets with things to find and etc. etc. For some reason... It, it like it just triggered this game in my mind, and I remembered that I had yet to play it, even though I downloaded it uh, a few a few weeks oh, ago. Um, I I have played the very beginning of it, uh, just to so make sure that it was a this is like. yes, yeah, a little bit. Um, though I understand this game is potentially has some some deeper hidden secrets going on or there's something there's something big happening here with this game I think okay cool. 
Uh, you are a microbot swarm created to repair the merchant ship Big Wisp. The ship is deformed by a rainbow gravity well and crashes on a planet. Crashes on planet Badmark. You must oh. scour Badmark for Big Wisp's lost parts or be stranded forever. Don't want to be stranded forever. Um, and yeah, I'll so we have just walked into the we have crashed on this planet, which is is the. Uh, how it fits into the uh, theme. This oh, the, the theme of crashing. Yeah. I'm just going to push the door to one second. Okay. Uh, Emotional Hobo says, this game reminds me of early 90s t-shirts. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Umbrella says, big whiz! Soltron um, says, I want to play an Oculus Rift version of that last game. I think you Oh, can die. ouch. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. A microbot Please don't do will, that. Will not survive bad marks, deadly climate, and denizens. Good use of denizens. Always nice to see that word. Mm -hmm. I always forget that it exists until I see it, and then I like it. Uh, you must interface with a crewmate. Okay. So this is basically our race selection. Oh, wow. Uh, this being as a crystalline hold box, they are eccentric scholars and mystics. Will you interface? Uh, no, Whoa, let's... Let's check these all out. Yeah, babe. we're going to look at all of them. This being is a robotic drop bulge. They are aggressive pirates and warlords. Will you interface? Are these procedurally generated? or? No, these are the I'm same ready? every time. I That's believe really cool. this whole game... I believe not that this game is the opposite of procedurally handmade. generated. Yeah, it's all it's all handmade. Uh, it took uh, it took a year to, for this person to make this game, which makes me think that there's something bigger going on with it. Uh, this being is an amoebic pal sink. They are cunning traders and explorers. This being is a crystalline hold box. Oh wait, okay, another that's the same. Hold box. Yeah, and another. Uh, drop bulge. All right, so I th I you think we're repeating here. here. Yeah, okay. A pulsing, a pulsing, a drop bulge. What about that little wavy one in the top right? The top left here. Uh, left, the top yeah. left. Sorry. That's going to be another yeah crystal oh, hold box. I think I'm leaning towards hold box. Yeah, I li I like the yeah, idea of know. being a scholar, an eccentric scholar. Yeah, I I agree. Um. So which hold box do you want to be? Uh, do you want to be gonna... sparkly or checker checkers? Can we call you checkers or hamster wheel. <laughs> uh, I think we gotta be hamster wheel, man. Okay. <laughs> you jet into an orifice and take control of the hold box. Yeah. So we are we are the hold box. Oh, we now. are rolling around in our little hamster wheel. Yep. The drop bulge slams his faceplate against the bulkhead in boredom. <laughs> oh man, the dude's a jerk. The palsink calculates an equation, but seems stumped by a shadowy variable. I really love the idea of a variable that is shadowy. Sorry, my neighbors yeah, are being really loud right now. It just adds to the ambiance of the game. I think shouting. The drop bulge curses at the empty crosshairs of targeting console. Damn you, targeting console. The hold box meditates in a virtual reality web. <laughs> Welcome to the virtual reality web. We are stream friends. The hold box debates philosophy with a cogitator. Ca a a cogitator? I don't know how you say it. You venture into Bad Mark's surface. It is time to find the lost ship parts. Oh wow! Look at this game. Yeah. Uh, so so that's, our that's our ship. Yeah, the purple thing just above us. Here's a sign. The sign speaks through a blare of static. Uh, for for whatever reason, when I was playing this before, when I was playing uh, just a little bit, I imagined all of the signs because uh, it says they speak. So I imagine them all speaking as, like, staticky carnival barkers. <laughs> yeah, like something from Colombia or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, kind of. Right. Uh, 
So I'm gonna try to do that. <laughs> You're gonna do your best carnival bark. Yeah. Welcome to the Grove! This natural sanctuary is home to species preserved from the decimated Sun Earth. Poacher clans and their affiliates are forbidden. Thanks for visiting! Well, I, I feel happy and glad to be here. <laughs> Where do we want to explore? Do we... It looks like we've got a kind of a wind farm, or a forest, or a, or a building, or... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Let's go into the kind of blue maze, I think. Okay. Below. Oh, dang. I don't uh, know if we can even go. I don't go know there. if we can get in there. We could try to get through the forest? Maybe there's a... Yeah, alright. Let's see what this waving bat key is. You encounter... Hostile... Slink nip. Slink... Slink nip. Slink... Hostile slink nip. It is level zero. Available data. Slink nips are rubbery skeletal serpents. Their mating bray may induce destructive melancholy. <laughs> oh, man. You defeat yeah. your foe in Mortal Kombat. You burn one experience. Your total experience is one. Well, we got some. The crate is crammed with rotting organic scraps. You sift through the mushy remains before growing too disgusted. Uh, you brace yourself and dig deeper into the crate. Nausea overcomes you. No, okay. Oh, so nausea overcomes us to the point where we can no longer look at it. Apparently. Is that a house? A little house? The trails end at an altar chipped from petrified wood. Its smiling visage is darkly stained. A stone blade is stabbed into it. Oh. Okay. Is that all we know about that thing? Yeah, that's all it says. We can uh, Where? take out this other slick, slick nip. Slink nip. You defeat your foe in Mortal Kombat. We have two experience. What's this thing? Mortal Kombat. Oh, we found some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> the alloy barrel is in an is an animal nest. Twigs and aromatic feces are in abundance. You find eggs. Oh, okay, good. That's the tree is almost humanoid. I actually just ran into this accidentally. Uh, it's not eyed stare makes you feel insignificant. You approach it, but it hurtles skyward and lands elsewhere. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Man, we just went to look at a tree and it had absolutely nothing. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're just gonna jump back and forth, huh? Oh, wow. Well. How's it going, tree? You're not, you're not interested in hanging out. I like the jams in this game, too. Yeah, it's got some good jams. Another Top jams. Slink nip, three experience. Oh, we've had a beacon. Oh, wow. The alloy barrel was once an incubator, but its defense grid failed. And now it hosts a <laughs> colony of reptilian insects. An incubator with a defense grid. <laughs> Is right. there any way we can get to that, all those stuff over there with the slink nip? I think if I remember correctly. So to interact with things, I'm just using the arrow keys. You just sort of like smashing into them? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Maybe somewhere in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I remember. We gotta get through the other way. Uh, if you look at the tree two above and one to the right, it flickers yes. every every so often. To the right? I haven't seen it. It might just be not coming through on the Skype screen. Oh, there it goes. It's I didn't see. It's really slow. Oh, yeah, I just saw it on the screen. Oh, here we go. We can go up and around this way. Oh man, look at these animals. The tree occasionally flickers from existence. Investigation reveals it is an illusion of refracted chromatic radiation. Man. This game's good. Yeah. Took out another slick slick nip. 
The alloy barrel is crusted with viscera. A hairy skull and some cybernetic limbs are jammed inside. You find guts. Why are those? Guts. Why are those guts the ones we pick up and not the other ones? We we have specific gut standards. <laughs> uh, the alloy barrel contains sticks and rocks webbed together with mucus. Their arrangement demonstrates some aesthetic intention. We find a statue. <laughs> Made of made of rocks, made sticks, of... and mucus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm 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 all for that. I'm all for you know rock stick mucus aesthetics. Uh, the alloy barrel oh, yeah. is empty aside from a single sparkling object. You find a sensor. You now have one parts. Oh, we have a parts. Yeah. The tree branches sag with a pulpy growth. You pluck one. And the tree spasms and vomits sap on you. <laughs> you find a fruit. Jeez. The door is locked. It is cast resin and impervious to forcing. You know, resin doors. Uh, a message is burned into the sign in an elegant cursive script. Dear traveler, do not trespass in my fine manner, you insolent brat. Wow. <laughs> what a horrible person. I want to trespass in their manor. I know. Maybe we can find something to get in there somehow. You know, a resin, resin dissolver or something. Is there... Why are some of them in blue and some of them in red? Uh, I don't know. Oh, this one... Uh, is blue because we can use it we can use this uh, to, to tr teleport back to our ship whenever we want to okay and the trash doesn't seem to do anything I don't know what that does it's probably of import sometime um egg says junk ready to hatch at any moment gut says junk and antique cybernetic entrails <laughs> <laughs> uh, sensors yeah, you know. part tracks buoys in space miasma. <laughs> uh, in Britain we say boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I always find it like really cool that that word is pronounced buoy. <laughs> it's a stupid, stupid word. Stupid word. The statue is a crude rendering of sex. <laughs> <laughs> a crude rendering of sex. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's check. Maybe we should... I don't know if that place is too dangerous for us. Um, well, the good thing is... It won't... Uh, you encounter a hostile robo cretin. It is level 3, available data. Robocretins are failed products of the robot manufacturing process. Rejection has made them bitter and violent. Uh, this foe will surely kill you if you attack. Gain more levels in return. So, oh, yeah. It's, okay. uh, the combat, as it were, in this game is, is basically binary. It's just, you're strong enough or you're not. Uh, this totem is speckled with diodes. Its screen displays the digits 20 0. Let's see what this. The hard pack sucks its skin to a fresh sheen. Do you attack? <laughs> uh. No? I don't really see a need to kill the helpless creature there. Seems to be just chilling. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. I can't... Oh. Uh, an object is wedged in the flower. You tear it from the strands of oily pulp. You find a scope. Interesting. Is this good? Does that do anything for us? Detects, Detects invisible... Invisible barracks. Ooh. Huh. That sounds useful. I'm not entirely sure how it would be useful, but it might be. How, how would you... I accidentally... That came from the flower, in flower in quotes, above me there. Because I oh, accidentally weird, tapped it. No, it didn't come from the red one. Hmm. 
No, we don't tag the hard pack. No, oh, yeah, I was in the wrong thing, sorry. These numbers do nothing, huh? But they definitely, definitely have numbers on them. The wall quakes when you step near, an invisible wave forces you away. Huh, oh, so I guess there's an invisible wall there. What happens if we use the scope? Uh, it's not. It didn't or look like a usable, a usable item. Object. I think it just sort of. Oh yeah, we can. Oh, that's what the See, trash I'm is yeah. for. We can highlight it and then trash something if we wanted to. I don't know why we would want to yet. Maybe there's an inventory limit. Have a lovely evening. Oops, okay. Well, that's how the beacon works. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that much. Let's see what this guy's all about. Oh, it's a skiff. Oh, man. Wait, are we are we now driving a skiff? Yeah. Dang. We're, we're sailing around on this uh, this here waterway. Kind of river. We're waving? Or maybe bits of us are waving? I'm not sure. Oh, I think those are the, those are the little fans, maybe. The column is dappled with awful and scaly feathers. An avian must perch here frequently. Dappled. I like that word. Nice word. You encounter a hostile Minalter. Minalter? It is level one. Available data. Minalters are scaled cephalopods. They exhibit bestial intelligence, yet weave and wear a variety of garments. Hmm. This foe will surely kill you if you attack. Okay, too bad. He seems pretty chill anyway. Oh, wow. What's this? The buoy <laughs> endlessly <laughs> beeps a message in Explorer's emergency code. Beware, Ultramite in ruins, exploration risk high. Pfft, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. A geyser spews suddenly into the air, and a whirlpool expands around it. From the churning liquid splashes a tiny creature. Oh. You encounter a hostile Ultramite. Oh, dear. It is level 7. Oh, I guess these are the Ultramites. <laughs> Ultramites are microscopic aquatic insects. Their <laughs> warbling antennae generate titanic liquid vortices. If they're microscopic, how... How would we know it was there? Well, I guess we, we're also microscopic, so maybe we can see oh, microscopic true. stuff. I want to go say hi to Gee, this. Gee, thanks for warning us. I want to say hi to this guy down here. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> he, is, he is waving and also rotating he is body parts. Excited. You encounter a hostile oh, Fizzgorge. <laughs> Fizzgorges are organic, artificial... Intelligences. Their photon cores are carnivorous and melt down if starved. Organic artificial intelligences. Damn. So to an extent, there's this sort of puzzle thing of trying to locate which enemies you're able to defeat at this stage. Yes, yeah. Um, the uh, designer of the game, whose name is in a tab somewhere... Uh, goes by Willy Electrics. I'm not sure if Good they've name. made any other game. The official page for this game seems to be a forum post. Um, See you, Lucas. As long as I'm talking about it, Lucas is I'll uh, link it in the chat here. Uh, it's described as a um, scavenger hunt. Oh, yeah. It it's is got a really... It is a scavenger hunt of great depth and scale, says the description. Huh. The colors are just fantastic. Yeah, they're really good. This seems like something... Uh, like, these are colors I would choose. Like, the only color abilities I have to pick is just the loudest primary colors <laughs> like it's impossible for me to make anything 
without that. Another bird perch. Can what we... about the kind of desert thing to our right? Yeah. Uh, it looks like we can only exit on these orange pads. Oh, so. right. Let's check out uh, the sign is constructed oh, right. from this salvage one. windmill scraps. Welcome to the wind farm. Wind power was prevalent during Bad Mark's most populous era. The windmills are now deactivated, but remain in remarkable condition. Thanks for visiting. Yeah, thanks for visiting. Uh, you scale oh, wow. a teleporter Corbett. spiral. Energy waves cascade over you. Your pores feel distended. You teleport. Oh. Where are oh, we? Oh, dang. I guess we're Can at we the go top back? just above okay, the desert. Good. Yeah, let's let's check this place out. Oh no, I don't hey, know. Hey, look at you, little light bulb man. Orblong cackles jubilantly. <laughs> you want to do the voice for the Orblong? Welcome to the wall. I'm a tourist advisor. Please read about this fascinating literature about Batma. <laughs> you you receive a booklet. Oh, oh. booklet. Oh! Wow. Welcome to the huh. wall. This venerable structure lay buried until its recent discovery by core miners. It is cast from an unknown indestructible metal. You sense the specters of kings, warriors, and slaves that grapple each other in a savage melee. Huh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Whoops. So now we got a big, big old wall going on here. Whoa. Cyber Yank <laughs> thrashes in a puddle of lubricant gore. I ran away from the den and my crazy mother stabbed me. She still stalks the wall. Watch out. He convulses and dies. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Yeah, I have no idea where we are. Uh, welcome to the wall. The wall is Badmark's most elevated point. Visit a tourist advisor to discover more about this wondrous world. Thanks for visiting. Oh, this one's going to narrate for us. Oh, man. Badmark's native inhabitants were the dual, spe dual, dual specials. Males were light rays and females were sound waves. Their evolutionary experimentation rendered them infertile and poacher clans hunted them to extinction. Which oh. is why poacher, poacher clans aren't allowed on the planet anymore. Right. Oh man, there's some little microbes down there like us. Oh yeah. Hey little buddies. Also, uh, I think Janine has a sim stream in a bit. So we oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Call that sometime soon. Oh, hang on, no, this is the desert where you found the thing in the flower. Oh, yeah, yeah. We also, uh, I want to note that we just wrapped all the way around. Oh, really? Yeah, we apparently around? walked. Um, the shadow <gasps> assumes humanoid form and falls form? behind. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey, right. Shadow Creature. So this game is pretty rad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, you, I'm going to Slime Salad right now. Yeah, if you Google random ramble, ramble Planet, oh, the shadow suddenly vanishes. Must be a puzzle having to do with that. Um, you can find it there. Uh, Man, thanks for... Uh, this game is pretty damn cool. Yep. <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Uh, this has been another video games variety hour uh, my name is Nick you can find me at twitch Twitter YouTube slash dr evil bones where can people find your stuff and who are you my name is Jack Dekeith you can find me on uh, on twitch and Twitter at not quite real and you can find games that I make at the tooltreesgames.co.uk but my most recent thing was made without the tooltrees games uh, as a gift to my friend Austin you can find it at tinyurl.com forward slash Robert L's. Also, I think we may have just found the, the villainous Cyber Yank. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> That'll do it for us. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Yep. Love and hugs. Bye-bye. <laughs>